how to draw the perfect ellipse. So first of all we can see the question. The question is the distance between the directrix and the focus is 50 mm. Full stop. The eccentricity is 2 by 3. Draw the conic section. Okay. Then from the directrix at 35 mm locus point on the curve draw the tangent and normal. So this is the question. So for this question we are going to proceed the problem. So before that we need to draw the directrix. The first step is to draw the direct take the scale and draw a perpendicular line here I used pen but you people has to use the pencil okay by applying the pressure itself you can make the differences A and this is B now I am going to draw the directrix I have taken a lengthy scale so here I chosen it and just to draw the before that I need to fix it for 90 mm 90 degree so this will be the 90 degree so the directrix we got it so I can draw the directrix here. So now this point we can name it as C and this point we can name it as D. So A, B, C, D. What the, the question told? The distance between the directrix. What is directrix? This is the directrix. What is axis? This is the axis. And the question has uh, described the distance between directrix and a focus. Where is the focus? We have to identify. The focus point will be 50 mm from the directrix. So from here we can measure 50 mm. What is 50 mm here now? So this is the point. Now we have identified this is the point as F. So the, the distance between these two are what? 50 mm. We have fixed. Okay. Now, now we can come to the calculation. Calculation part is very simple. So here they have told the eccentricity value. What is eccentricity? I will write it here. I will write it here. So the eccentricity value is E equal to 2 by 3. So what is 2 by 3? So we can add it. That is not it here. 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So totally 5 divisions. What is the total distance between these two? the directrix and the focus it is 50 50 divided by 5 equal to 10 mm so each 10 mm we need to divide it so how we how we can divide it is by using the scale take the scale and you can mark it a simple mark on it so like that you can make the mark right so here how we are going to take it that is very very important E is equal to 2 by 3 means the two part. This is called two parts and this is called three parts. We can take, take it like this. Okay. The distance, the three part, otherwise which part we need to take near to this directrix. That is always the denominator we need to take it. Which part we need to take near to the focus is the numerator. So the three part is near to the directrix means 1, 2, 3. So this is the one. So here this can be named as V1. Okay. Now at this V1 I am going to draw a perpendicular line. Actually here I am not using any drafter. So I am fixing it through the protractor. Okay. So like that we can make it. 
So now I am drawing a line on it. So here these lines will be parallel. Now take your compass like this and sharpen your pencil, fix your pencil. Now measure it. Here you can measure it. One point at here and another point at here. Okay. Now take the measure point from here. From here you can take the measure point. So we got another one point. Right. So now we can draw the inclined line through here. So from C now we got another one point. I am just extending it like this. Okay, so we got the points, and here also we can make it the same way. If we don't have any space, means in bottom of the axis line also you can make the same way. Either any one of the side, you need to make it. You just need to connect like this we need to extend it. So another one important point we have to do it. Actually this point we have already fixed. This is one end of the ellipse. Another end of the ellipse to find it out another end of the ellipse we need to go for another one method that is 45 degree, taking the 45 degree angle. So by taking the 45 degree angle this will be joining some other as my paper is not enough. So I am taking bottom of this x y line uh, this axis line I am going to take a perfect 45 degree. So from here I will draw it will join it here I think it is not visible for you anyhow. At this end, I will draw end of the line like this. So this both the lines will coincide at one point. So from that point, I am taking the line. From that point, I am taking the line to here. right? So this will be the V2 point. So now, approximately I am going to draw some other perpendicular lines to it. One on here and another one through the F focus and another one here the distance will be approximately taken. So and it will be nearly or more than 10 mm. So how I have taken is I have just taken the scale measurement itself this line. So there is isn't some uh, perfection will be there. I am just taking through that. Here we don't find any space. So anyhow, no need to touch the bow line. So any one of the line we need to touch it. So I am taking touching only the bottom line. So actually this line is not perpendicular. So that is the reason. I will draw it once again. So it will connect at here. Exactly, it will connect at here. This point will be the V2. So my assumption the point will be here. This is not the value. Okay. Actually, if we draw by pencil means we can easily erase it. So I chosen by a pencil because of the video won't be very clear. So that is the reason. Okay. You don't do this. Now our okay. So take your compass and first of all, which one, which line you are going to take the measurement? That is very important. So first you are going to take the measurement of this line. Okay, take the measurement of this line and always F as the center. Okay, always F as the center and which line you took the measurement, that line you need to take the arc. So, where it will meet, so it will meet it here. So, here this is the first point. Next, here I am going to take, the, I will take the measurement here. Okay, so both will be same. I will take the measurement here. So this is the measurement point and F as the center I will take the arc at here and another one arc 
will be at here okay and again I will take the measurement at here and the same point I will make the arcs okay next take the measurement take the FSS center and here on arc and this side on arc now likewise I need to do for all the lines F, always F will be the center for ellipse parabola and hyperbola now taking this measurement F as a center okay next this line again so look at here how I am holding the com uh, compass so this yeah, this area only we need to hold it otherwise it will make some error so this is the perfect way and also uh, your compass will be very tight otherwise while taking the arc or measurement the measurements will be varying so you keep on mind on that so that also anyhow you can easily say I just do the problem perfectly but it came as error why sir so very simple your instrument may be fault okay so please avoid it check it actually before buying today when I bought before buying I open it and check that and then only I bought it so this one is very tight so whatever it is you check it and buy okay the same way I am going to make it this points okay and finally here I came final one taking f as the center and I will take actually it is somewhat varies right so anyhow it will come at here you can just vary the line this line otherwise you can uh, close the curve on this point itself okay so I will uh, draw it by using pencil itself now how I am going to draw by use pencil it is uh, look at here so a thin line I will make it first a rough line I will make it okay so this end and again here I am just connecting all the curves I just adjusted at the end you can see ok so this will be your curve so now I am just making it through my uh, sketch point to darken it okay you do you don't need uh, to use the sketch uh, you have to use your pencil only nowhere else you should not use so be clear on it so this is the freehand uh, line so it has some shake or some vibration so don't worry about it it has to be as it is so that is very important I think now the line is very clear for you so only to for the clear visible only I just used the sketch pen ok otherwise you don't need to use it right so already we have may named this is v1 and this is v2 right so here also we can name it this is a uh, already d up to d is there this is e and this is e dash ok e and e dash we have we can name it and this curve this point p1 dash and this has to be p1 and this has to be p2 and this is p3 and this is p4 p5 p6 and p7 p8 p9 p10 and this is p11 okay and same way here also we have to make it p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash 
sorry p6 dash p7 dash p8 dash p9 dash p10 dash p11 dash okay that's all so we have named all the points okay next one uh, they told to make uh, 35 degree 35 mm from the directrix 35 mm from the directrix we need to identify a point on the curve so i just move the scale actually you have to use the protractor i am just moving the scale either up or down in both the side you can make it either up or down i choose from the top otherwise i choose the, the bottom okay i don't have enough space at the you know, top so i so here you can see 1 2 3 4 in middle this is the point as what p i just identify the point p now what i am going to do it is i am just joining this point p and this f a thin line okay now i am going to make a 45 degree uh, sorry 90 degree line so keeping the protractor like this center will be the f and here you need to mark it and i will draw from f through this point connecting the directrix connecting the directrix i just draw a line and afterwards so i need to draw darken this so i need to go for what sketch actually you don't need you people don't need to use the sketch you can by use the pencil itself we can darken it and it has to touch the p and also it has to start from this line this point okay so it has to be like this this is the what tangent okay so for this you need to draw the normal for it so keeping this as the point i will mark it here 90 k what means i'll just do it like this p and where's the point here it is okay so now you can give the names what are the name so tg so this can be set as g i started from here and this can be g and this is n and this is m and now the finally we need to make the dimensions so what are the dimensions we can know known dimensions are this one we are knowing that is what 45 degree we know it and here this one we know it 50 mm okay so here at this area only we need to make it not at the diagram not above the diagram we should not draw any dimensions the arrow head should be clearly visible and above the line you can draw it as 50 no need to draw right 50 mm just the number 50 itself it is enough okay and everything as it is it is said and now another one thing is also pending that is we need to write a double line with some distance and here you need to show write this is what ellipse ellipse and one more thing is also there that is below the diagram you need to write like this all the dimensions are in mm so you have to write 
neatly like this ok. So, this is the way of doing the ellipse drawing the ellipse ok. So, uh, most of the thing uh, we will not uh, uh, consider this one ok. So, here by considering this we will be getting the perfect one without any confusion in some of the problem they will be giving us a confused uh, question itself uh, the, the word itself they will be mixing it. So, we will be seeing in the next one next video right.